So hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is day 17 of Vlogmas. I fixed me some pumpkin spice tea in my new mug. That says my name on it. I think it's so cute. But it's very hot right now, so I gotta let it cool. So this today is probably gonna be filled with a lot of wrapping because a lot of my packages came in and then my dad wants me to wrap more of my mom's gifts. So today's mostly gonna be wrapping. I also got my trunk club box too, so I'm gonna be trying on those clothes. I'm gonna film a reaction, my mom and my dad reacting to some of the clothes. Those are terrible. Those are, those are horrible. Nope. Those nope. ain't got open. Don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> the other one Is that a open. Yeah, he's waiting. Oh man. Oh. Show. She ain't had to open that one. Right now, I'm about to put on this clay mask from L'Oreal. This is my favorite one so far. This is what it looks like. Because my skin has been acting up so much and I need to give it some love. Because I've honestly been pretty lazy with my skincare lately. And it's showing on my face. Gonna be yellow for a couple of minutes, but it's okay. Also, I just got done watching the new season for RuPaul's All Star Season 4. Um, side note, if you hear like heavy breathing or snoring, those are my dogs. All three of them are sleeping in my room right now. 
And I feel like this new season is going to be a much better than all the previous All-Star season. Just because of the, um, the queens that are on. I feel like they're more, they're stronger competitors um, rather than the previous years. Like not saying that none of the other queens from the previous seasons weren't like strong competitors or anything like that. It just feels like some of them were strong competitors and others were just like kind of the underdogs. But I feel like this season has a lot of strong competitors which is going to be a more interesting, interesting season. I'm also very happy that they brought back Latrice just because I feel like out of all of the queens this season, she's the one that deserves it the most. Just because I feel like she's more humble with herself and she's more professional and I just feel like she deserved to win on her season. I forgot what season she was on and I feel like she should have won on the first um, all-star season with Manila. So my top five queens are Naomi Smalls, Latrice, Valentina, um, Monet Exchange, and also Monique Hart. I really think that one of them is going to make it to the top three or top four. It's going to make it all the way to the end. At least one of them. They have to. Also, I'm going to be highly upset. I was very happy that none of them, none of my top five, was in the bottom two. Which is really good, but that was only the first episode. I'm also very curious to see how Pheromone does this season just because on her season she was the underdog and she was also a crybaby and the first episode she messed up in her performance and she landed in the bottom two and she just started crying you know so I'm, I'm just wondering if she's just gonna kind of repeat her season how she did in her season but just more glammed up or is she gonna be like a more like is she gonna show more strengths in her drag i also like how gia gun is back and i also low-key like how like shady she is because at least they have to have well at least one shady evil villain type of drag queen on the show to make it more interesting to cause the drama and i'm happy it's gia gun because i feel like She's not acting. I feel like this real. I'm also very happy that I was able to see um, most of the drag queens that were on the new season of RuPaul, um, All Stars, and uh, Drag Queens Christmas. My best friend took me to go see that a couple days ago, and it was absolutely amazing. Like, even though we sat like in the back, I still was able to feel the energy from each queen and I was I was living for it even though I was lit I was feeling it so yeah I feel like this season is gonna be very stressed out for me because I do have a lot of queens that I'm rooting for and I, of course I want all of them to make it to the end but not all of them can unfortunately so so let me know down below if you guys even watch the show do you like it do you not like it who's your favorite drag queen on the show off the show and yeah i hope you guys like this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys next time